Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I don't know if you've heard the news, but uh, something big happened on Capitol Hill today. They passed the TikTok ban in in the House anyway. But uh, it's expected to be approved by the Senate. And Joe Biden has already said that he would sign it into law once it comes to his desk. So I, I guess that's probably going to happen. What does it mean, though? Does it mean that TikTok is going away as soon as it goes into law? Does it mean, uh, I mean, what's going to happen to all those users, the people that use TikTok, their videos, their stuff? Uh, what, what does it all mean? We're going to be talking about that coming up in just a second. So stick around. Thanks for sticking with us. I, uh, yeah, that wasn't actually, the cup is actually empty. I, but you know, for a tradition effect what, to, to make people upset and bothered, I, I decided to pretend to drink coffee. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit under the weather. Not that you would expect anything to change over the course of a couple of hours, but my voice is still here so we can talk about this. The TikTok man. Um, yeah, so they, they passed it. What does that mean? What When would the ban take effect? I, I've looked this up, so I, I have the, uh, the answer written down on this uh, notebook that I have here. Apparently, within 165 days of the law being passed or signed by the president, the, uh, the company ByteDance and TikTok would have to be divorced or something along those lines that the, the company would have to divest itself of all its uh, foreign influence. I, I don't know what you would call it money. It would have to become American within 165 days or else it would just stop, I guess, or it wouldn't be available on the, the app stores that you're all familiar with. The, the, you know, the Google app store, Google play store, Apple app store gone from those. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that with something as valuable as that, because it's supposed to be one of the biggest, right? So many millions and millions of people are using it all the time that uh, somebody is going to see the value in it and they're probably going to make a purchase or at least offer. Now, if you know, supposedly it's separated from the Chinese government and Chinese companies already. So I can't imagine a scenario where they would say no unless they actually are not separated from the Chinese government and the Chinese government doesn't want people to get certain information that uh, might be sensitive, you know. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're going to sell. And when they do, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens from there. I mean, all that information, um, the people that are using TikTok right now, they're probably wondering that themselves. What happens to all my old videos? Is it videos? I, I, I don't, uh, I don't use TikTok. I'm more familiar with the Chinese version, which is called uh, Douyin, uh, over in China. The the one that doesn't have all the crazy stuff on it. Which, uh, by the way, I, I feel like they could have avoided this problem if they had just given the American people and the Western world the Chinese version, the the Douyin, you know, that has all the the normal stuff, the normal people on it it probably would have worked out a little bit better. But that suggests to me that maybe there's other purposes for the app than just entertainment because they didn't give us the Chinese version. We got this uh, this crazy version that seems to, you know, push a lot of crazy content on people that drives people insane. But uh, just the same, you know, people that put stuff on there, they're probably wondering what's going to happen to my stuff. And I, I wonder that myself, you know, where do they keep it right now? What I mean, are the servers in the United States? If, uh, let's say, Elon Musk and Twitter decided to purchase them, I, I'm not saying that they are. I think that there is currently an offer from Rumble to purchase TikTok. Uh, what happens to all that data? How does it get transferred? Would the old stuff continue to exist to continue to to be available or would it be like starting all over I, I just think about the amount of information the amount of the stuff that would have to be transferred to new servers um i mean it takes me sometimes to get these big files from just my camera it can take well a few minutes just for one file you know that i haven't even done anything with yet just imagine trying to transfer i don't even know how much there would be i don't even know the word i feel like uh when uh What's his face on Back to the Future was talking about gigawatts and, you know, Marty McFly's like, what the heck is a gigawatt? 
Um, I don't even know the word that they would use for that. Terabytes is too small because, well, everybody's got terabytes now. Boy, I remember when that was big. <laughs> terabyte. Whoa, terabytes. Yeah, who knows what they even call it. But enormous amounts of information with millions and millions of users, uh, uploads that would have to be transferred, hopefully, possibly, into the new servers. What, what sort of hidden things would be found in there? I wonder if uh, the American government would have an interest in looking through the coding of the app to see if there's any hidden things in there with the algorithm, you know, to find out if China really was doing some crazy stuff to us and spying on us, what all is in there. It could be a, a matter of national security. Or if uh, even if they don't, for whatever reason, the uh, new purchases of it i'm sure they would be going through that information to see what it says or what it does it'd be uh, an interesting one to see if this app you know what all it was doing exactly i know there's been a lot of talk about how it sends data back to china and different things but uh, it would be curious to see just what the algorithm was up to and uh, what they were trying to push on us i mean assuming it gets that far i'm not sure that it will you know, if they're right that this is uh, a Chinese government uh, manipulation tool, they might not sell. They might just not do it and just go out and be done. In which case, I guess a lot of those uh, young folks who have been putting videos up there and contacting their lawmakers, telling them that they would do terrible things to themselves. Well, hopefully they uh, they come to their senses and don't go through with something like that but uh, yeah it'll be interesting to watch what happens uh who's gonna buy it i i feel like uh some of the big ones i, I could imagine google being interested in making the purchase possibly facebook I, well i don't think that facebook will but maybe they will but they they don't seem to be yeah well that, i guess that would be good reason for them to purchase it they're not uh the hip thing right now i guess they could get to be the hip thing possibly by just purchasing the hip thing um rumble like i said has made an offer i, I feel like uh twitter if they have enough money which they probably don't but you never know i could see them just saying ah it's us we, we've got it elon musk trying to make the uh, the american um we chat ends up getting the the thing that's chinese to make the american you know what i mean Anyway, yeah, it'll be an interesting one to watch. 165 days. We'll see how long it takes to get through the Senate where it's expected to be approved and signed. And then we'll see what they do within that 165 day, days from that time. We'll be watching it. I guess uh, I'm going to end with that because I'm, like I said, not feeling well. I'll see you guys in the next one. ความจำรักกัน